Well hello, good morning and welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy and today we're working on our big red book. So what have I been up to while you were gone? Well I did some flips, I did two, one for the inside front cover and the inside back cover. Basically I just took um, one, two, three sheets of A4 paper. Um, in fact, shall I show you what I did? That might be better, mightn't it? Let's see if I can find a sheet. Here we go. Okay, so took the sheet, folded it all the way down, as you can see, to, you know, about an inch-ish, inch and a half. Okay, and then I took the next sheet and I folded it at this point here. Now, this is obviously not big enough. I need another A4 sheet, don't I? Let's see. Oh, here's another one. Okay, so then I put this one equal space, so about there, and I bent that over there as well and whilst I've done that very quick and not very straight you can see that's how you get the staggered pages and you can do as many or as few as you want and then to get these ones you can see I just basically cut it in half and trim the white edge off okay um, and then I just decorated them up so I've used um, some you know cardstock I've used some inked up paper and then I've just embellished the various elements and what it does of course is it gives you all this journaling space lots and lots of journaling space and when we are finished and move it right the way across for you and we put our black cover on there like so this will go to the bottom left need to retie the bow and then of course you'll have that in the front and you'll have one in the back as well so beautiful quick simple little project there talking of beautiful quick simple products i was thinking i might start a new series to run on a tuesday because we have this on a wednesday we have the marguerite miller collage on a wednesday and then we have postcards home on a Friday. So we really need something for a Tuesday. So I'm thinking starting next week, I'm going to do um, a quick and simple series. So, you know, it won't be a long video at all. We'll make things like this. Um, we'll make things like this really cute little journal here that's just got a few pages in. So quick and easy projects starting next Tuesday if anybody's interested in that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, back to the big book. Now, while you were away, so I did this front cover, okay? Now, I use these postcards. These are from a digi kit. As you can see, there's five of them there. Now, this particular digi kit comes from Happiness and Crafting. But as I've recently showed, Antonio Makes has got postcards, various people you can get postcards from. Or if you've got some, just scan them, print them out. So what I wanted here was the idea of friends forever. So whilst these are obviously not the same people, I've got, there's actually four children in that one there. And then it's coming to look the four adults here there are extras but the four adults here and then the three older ladies here so i just think it feels like a life journey of these friends and these are postcards that they sort of sent to each other and then i've just put some old jigsaw bits on there and that is now going to be you know that decorated cover for that very first signature i then went on and did the second one 
Um, and this one I did as moments in time. So we've got, you know, the child putting up a stocking at Christmas. And again, it could be that he then grew into one of these. Now, I know them as bellboys um, <clears throat> or, ma you know, I think this picture is actually male masters, but they look like bellboys to me. The guys at big posh hotels. And then maybe to a young man in a car. So again, it could be moments of his life. And all of these pictures that the three that you saw on the other page, you three here, they came from this book, uh, the Mary Evans Picture Library, a little book of nostalgia. And there's all these lovely old pictures in here. Um, I don't know exactly you know, where you would get this book from. I've told you before, my mum is a diamond. She finds all sorts of things in charity shops and the like for me. Um, there's no actual date on here. I do find it quite weird that it says content and images are copyright of Mary Evans Picture Library when, you know, some of these pictures are so old and in the public domain, that's not possible. But anyway, let's not discuss that. And I can't find you an ISBN number. I'm, oh, yes, I can. Um, no, no, I can't. Sorry. No ISBN number. So I'll just leave that there for a minute for you in case you want to go off and try and find one of those. Um, so, yeah, that was that one. And then the Moments in Time and the Friends for Life. I just typed on my computer and pinned it out. All right. So that's two. So we're going to do the third one together today. But I just want to show you a few extras that I've done. So um, I decorated up some of these book pages just with, you know, cut out images. And on this one, this is an old envelope. And I've just put book page inside. I've cut out three blue butterflies and I've stitched it all. And that's a Tim Holt stamp. And then because of the blow, I pulled this out. Now these are not actually paint chips, as they call them in America, or paint chart. These are actually fabric. Um, it's about, you know, what colours to wear with what skin tone, etc. I've got a book of these, so I just thought that would sit in there nicely, as that was blue. There's a blue stamp that I've just die cut from a paper pad. And this giant jigsaw piece that I've covered in book page. So just really using all the bits and pieces that I've got around. Yeah, there's no spending involved here at all. Move this over so you can see. Now we did this belly band strip before together, I believe, where we stuck in the long one there. And I've just put, this is a Tracy Fox, I think it's called Family Ties photo and I've just put that underneath there like that and then one of those book page envelopes that I'd previously made that was in the ephemera tub I just poke that under there and it catches the picture and obviously the belly band I haven't done anything here yet um, this one was I showed you before where I did the hidden hinge and I've just put that on that Edith Holden page obviously not on the picture just on the writing page this one we did together before anyway um, these envelopes I believe we did together I'm losing track now of what I've done on camera and what we haven't but basically it's just um, an A a business type envelope I never know is it a C7 I think or something I stenciled in blue and I've put this napkin on um, or pieces of napkin and just put some gesso over the top so it feels nice okay um, that we did and then this I did so I folded up the corner I just put a bit of glue underneath and then I've created a pocket here to put one of these little coin envelopes in that we saw before that was in the ephemera tub and then that's just some stamping on packaging paper 
that is the edge where we tear when we take a book page and we tear off this white edge keep them they're great for stamping so that's what that is that's a photograph i think that comes from yes it definitely does that's from the antonio makes precious photos and that's just some tim holt stamp fabric so we created this great pocket by just folding up the corner and it's an interesting shape and then i've just put some odd bits of ephemera decoration there so there you go that's where we're up to at the moment so now what i want to do with you today is create the cover for this signature so i've already pulled out all my pieces and i'm gonna take all the insides out so that we are just working on this page here so that's brought that giant book down to something small that we can see easily okay and what i've got in my paper clip is same three little die cuts of jigsaw this one i'm calling family ties so yeah i typed all of them out together and then i've got three more pictures out of the book that i showed you and these are seaside type scenes so maybe they traveled to the seaside on the train so they went on the train day trip out um, and they went to the beach maybe and then this may be oh no that's older isn't it okay so we put them younger there and then we put this one here okay and then we've got our bits so I'm also going to use um, old book page because it's always nice when we use old book page around pictures. Um, well, I say I'm going to use old book page. I've got to find some first, haven't I? And we've already done book page, actually, haven't we? So should we do a music page? Would that, would that be nice? It's a nice colour. Let's tear these down and see if we can make that work so i'm gonna tear these down with my decal ruler you know i like a crinkle edge real simple stuff this is there's no you know rocket science just taking a picture gluing it to some music sheets and whilst tackling a big book like this may seem like a massive project and it may feel really sort of daunting. The argument is, if you take one page at a time and just go, as it were, step by step, before you know where you are, you'll be done. Now, because I've got the three signatures, when I do a page, I tend to repeat that page, albeit slightly differently, the three times. So it's like this, you know, the covers, they're all the same, but they've got different pictures on them, you know, and they're slightly varied. But it's very much the same thing. It's three pictures. Um, the same label and three pieces of jigsaw. So as I say, you know, it keeps it um, with a good continuity, but... Now they're square really, those pictures, aren't they? So let's bring that down and make that a bit more square. Um, it keeps the continuity and, it, you know, it keeps like a uniformness. So let's see how we get on. So I'm gonna stick these onto this music page because again, you see that'll be different. Because the first one, they were stuck together on top of the postcards. The second one, they were on book page. So now this third one, they're gonna be on this music paper. So, again, you see, keep that for stamping on. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And I must keep my treble clefs, I love them. And obviously this will be used for something else, so that will go in there. 
scrapbooks. So there we've got picture one. I'm just actually wondering now if this is going to be big enough for um, all three pictures. Oh, we're about to find out, aren't we? Might have to break out another sheet. Now, I did mention to you some time ago about how I felt I was losing traction on my channel and whether I was doing something, you know, that people weren't particularly happy with, whatever. And you all said, no, 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 leave it as it is, we love it. And suggested that maybe, you know, the traction or the slowing in traction may be to do with COVID being over and people going back to work, etc, etc. Well, I did by accident yesterday come across a similar post. Somebody had questioned on Facebook that they felt they were, you know, not getting the showings or the, you know, involvement on their YouTube as they used to. You see, now that's slightly too short. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom. I don't really want to break out another sheet if I don't have to do. And this is where you need to do things like this to get the most out of your supplies. There you go. And now that's going to go on there. So bring it over a bit so we've got a bit more music. So it doesn't look like it's just sitting on old brown paper I've been gluing them down haven't I what my anyway um so yes and somebody had put a similar post on Facebook and I found it very interesting that the responses all seem to be saying they thought it was due to the time of day that the postings were made or in this case, you know, the videos were uploaded. So, I am going to start, I'm going to do a little demo test, and I'm going to start putting my videos up much later in the day. Now, a lot of you know um, that I usually do my videos in the morning um, at around sort of 9.30, 10 o'clock UK time. Apart from on a Friday when I've been out usually and done the food shop first. Well that means by the time I've done it and it's uploaded, it's probably uploading for about late morning, early lunch. And I do know that, that I've got one particular subby um, in foreign parts who always comments how my videos can make her late for work. <laughs> so yeah I'm guessing in that part of the world they come you know sort of really early um, so what I'm going to do is whilst I may still make them at that time of day because that's the time that suits my life I'm not going to start uploading them till about four o'clock which means it should be uploaded and ready to watch about Oh, I don't know, five, six o'clock UK time. Um, and we'll see if that does actually make a difference. I don't know if it will, but I'm going to try it. I'm on a little bit of, you know, suck it up and learn. <laughs> so, um, I've got these three pictures. That's obviously going to go there. And we've got our jigsaw pieces. But I feel like I want something else. Um, so I might add in just one postcard, especially as they're beach scenes, because generally you send postcards when you're on holiday or you've had a day out or whatever. So I'm going to add this one in as well to this one. It was just there on the side of my desk from the other day's printout. 
and I want to and I can so I'm going to okay like that you can say happiness and crafting and I think I'm going to put that one sort of there so we're going to angle that because you know I can't have anything straight because I'm a bit weird like that I'm going to angle that angle that one and then that will go down the yeah okay that's where we're going so let's do the postcard first of all and that was about there well it's there now isn't it <laughs> And then the very first picture is the train ride. So glue the train ride on. And that goes up here, about there. And don't be afraid, you know, to go over this hinge that we made that joined all the pages together. That's not a problem at all, is it? Okay, and then the second one is this one. No, the second one is this one. See, look, I don't even know my own plan now, do I? So that one goes about there. And that's going to... So, yeah, a few changes going on. Well, not changes, but I'm going to, um, and then that one's going to go over there like that, isn't it? I'm going to start doing this little quick and easy on a Tuesday, and I'm going to start putting videos up later in the day and see if that is going to give them a different kind of traction. We'll see. And see what happens it might not make any difference at all but i'm going to try and find out okay that one is gonna go there and then we need to put on obviously our jigsaw pieces so this one this one so there and I think again with the postcard the fact it's got a postmark on it you know it's quite nice maybe on top of there so in a roundabout way these signature covers to me are looking like scrapbook pages really aren't they because we're using elements that you know we want to keep but we're just putting them all together on a page like so yeah and there you go there's the third one so before I leave you, I just want to do with you that corner pocket that I did. Um, love this picture, um, but there's nothing really here on the bottom except her skirt. So I think this is the one that I'm going to do it to. So just about there like that. Just be brave and find a spot, okay? Put some, I hope you can see it, there you go, put some glue on this corner here, and, oh, move, there you go, okay, so now you've stuck that up, you've got a pocket here, so now I'm just going to add some ephemera pieces 
to um, pretty it up a little bit like I did on the other one. And I think maybe on this one, I might put a few of these in as like maybe the plants that were seen along the along the journey. So that's what's going in the pockets. I'm just rifling through my ephemera bucket to see what we have got. I might have to find smaller bits to decorate. Um, oh, this is a nice one. We'll definitely have that. So move that back and I'm going to bring my tiny ephemera tin in. Okay, so let's bear in mind that these are basically green, aren't they? So I'm going to have that one maybe coming across there like that. Uh, I've got all sorts of things in here, so I'll tell you what they are when I decide what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use a piece of this, which is this basically brown packing paper that I've done multi-stamping on. So, glue that up. You can see it's very thin because it goes super curly when you make it wet. And then I think we're going to have that coming off on that corner there. And you can see this was what I used on these. Um, it's just the other side. Okay, so I'm going to put that one across there. And what I'm doing, obviously, is I'm sealing that side of the pocket. I spent too long before I stuck it down. This glue is drying super quick today. That's better. Okay, so now I need to find something a bit green. I've got a lot of... Um, a lot of the Tracy Fox, I think they're called random labels in here. Let's have a little, little pull out. And I know there's some green ones in there. So let's have a little. We have got parcel post. That's not one of them. But we could maybe use that. See there's a 119. I'm always drawn to that one because I used to live at 119 <laughs> or 119 depending on how you choose to say it obviously um, as you can see I'm just sort of flicking through these trying to find what I want that's all you're not missing anything if it's off the corner of the camera I'm just basically Flicking through these bits, trying. Oh, look, there we go. Luxuriant mustache. That really needs to be on something that's got a man in it. But we could definitely have the date, couldn't we? And actually, now look, I've got this green like label cut out. So maybe we could make this look a little bit more superior by sticking that on there. I need a glue book. Right, so, or glue page. If we glue that and we stick it on top of this, it suddenly looks like it's a little bit more dramatic. And I find it quite amusing, and I like doing things like this, because 1977 is obviously way more modern than these pictures are and then I'm just going to put that right across the middle like that okay and that is how I made that corner fold up pocket um, and decorated it up made it interesting and then you can put in whatever you like I'm going to actually just run a little bit of ink around these. These are the ones that I took out of that botanical book. Um, you can see that this was page 204. And it actually says there, this is a Yarrow 
Achelia millifolium. I probably pronounced that totally wrong, but you know, because that's the Latin name. And this is a Roman wormwood. So there's two different pictures there. It could be fussy cut and used somewhere else or just enjoyed for what they are. Okay. And of course, not only have we created the pocket, but it's meant that we can see all these things that are going on underneath all these layers, which is interesting. And this one is, hang on, I need to turn it around the other way. This one is a wintergreen pyrola. Because um, this was a plant, herb plants, and this is sweet wood rough. Um, I haven't used all of these, but as a natural skincare maker, I used to use a lot of those types of plants, or at least the oils of them. There we go. So we've now got both of those in that pocket. The pocket looks pretty, and we've added that sort of corner dimension, which means we can see all of these layers behind and when we go that way we can see them on that side so there you go there's some more to our big book let's bring the actual cover in and this was signature three so this one goes right in the back there so as always i'd like to say thank you so much for joining me I hope you found joy and inspiration and you'll go off and do some wonderful crafting. Stay safe. Come back and see me soon. Bye bye for now.